these things, microwave oven transformers, they're all over the place and there's tons of things you can do with them and we did a video called 10 things to do with a microwave oven transformer and in this one we're going to make a generator out of it. Now to make a generator out of it the first thing you need to do is get the coils out and getting the coils out means cutting down that weld line. Once you've extracted them, you'll end up with two coils, one of thick wire and one of thin wire. Now, I've got two of these, so I've got four coils, two thick, two thin. If you use the thick wire, you'll get higher ampage, but lower voltage, because there's less turns of wire, but the wire is thicker, so it can carry more current. If you use the thin wires, you'll get a much higher voltage because the wires are thinner, but they won't be able to carry as much current. Now, I'm going to use this as a motor later on, so I'm going to use the thick wires because it'll function as either a motor or a generator. Now, if you don't have two, you can do it with one coil, you can do it with coils of different sizes, or you can do it with two coils of the same size, and I'm going to use two coils of the same size. And all you actually do is find yourself a bit of board of some kind or other, and glue the coils on at a reasonable distance. You're going to have to put an axle between them. My axle's eight millimetres, so a centimetre or two, and just hot glue them down. So I've glued an upright and I've put a 22 mil skater bearing in there, which is an eight mil centre. So I've got a bit of eight mil aluminium tube, flattened the centre and I put a bit of blue tape on there. The blue tape is so that when I feed it in there, There we go. It can't go past the bearings. The, that will hold it in place in the centre. And that flat bit is now in the centre between the two coils. And I've got another angle with another bearing in there. And obviously that goes there up against the blue tape. And so if I spin that now, it'll spin between the two coils. So all I've got to do is stick some magnets on that flat piece right there. And for that, I've got these. OK, that's it. Now we have to connect them up. So it doesn't matter. Just choose one on this side and connect it to your positive. Then choose one on the other side and connect it to your negative. And then these two need to be joined up. And then give it a spin. If it produces nothing, you get it the wrong way around. So disconnect that one. Connect that one across and all of a sudden you'll find it generates. There we go. So even turning that thing by hand, I'm getting about two volts out of that. So there you go, a dead simple way to make a generator out of a microwave oven transformer, and it'll perform quite well actually. But remember, the thick ones are low voltage, high ampage, the thin ones are high voltage, low ampage. You just make a choice really. I want to do something else with this so I chose the thick ones but it still does reasonably well. And obviously we're going to put our input or we would put our input here whether it was a, a water wheel or a wind turbine or whatever it is. But that's how to go about making a generator and the stunningly simple things to make because they all work on the same principle. You need a moving magnetic field and you need a coil. Anyway, easy project for the weekend. I hope you a little something for the weekend sir. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.